Well, we are nearly finished, but there's been a disaster. Oh no! Oh! Next speaking, and welcome to this video. Uh, right time for another update on the Space Wolves. And uh, I have been painting, uh, made good progress, but I have had a bit of a disastrous setback. Uh, so you probably noticed I no longer have bases on the board. Um, and that's because um, a couple of days ago I um, was here painting and I noticed that the bases had some like wet blodges on them. Um, I thought I just accidentally splashed them with water or something, uh, but on closer inspection when I wiped the blob away, it took all the paint off, and I realized that the bases were weeping resin uh, stuff. So, a uh, bit of a disaster. Um, I don't, obviously I just hadn't washed them properly or something. Um, so I did consider uh, like adding some stuff to the bases to try and like cover up the little little resin like, pieces or where it's like the wet patches as such. Um, I did consider maybe putting some sand on or something. Um, I tried some typh typhus corrosion on there. Actually it worked quite well but not like perfectly um, and I can sort of foresee maybe after a few weeks probably the, the seeping would go through the typhus corrosion anyway so I had to take the ball by the horns and uh, I've stripped them and I'm currently re-washing so there they are in this tub uh, soapy water I've been uh, scrubbing them with a toothbrush like two or three times a day they've been in that pot a couple of days now um, and I'm um, just desperately trying to get rid of all of that resin, like residue stuff. Um, so I'm going to continue to probably wash these another day or so. Um, I keep changing the water, making sure it's really nice and soapy. Um, and uh, hopefully it won't happen again. Uh, it's not happened on all my other bases, so I'm assuming I just probably just didn't quite wash them well enough. Um, the first time, but there you go. So yeah, a little bit of a setback, um, but I have done quite well. I've been painting, so the only thing left now is the weathering, um, and they're done, apart from the bases. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, ramble over. Let's zoom in and have a look at the highlighting of the black. So let's start off with the pack leader as always. All right there, you go. So the pack leader, um, and uh, I've now edged highlight the black. I uh, went in with Ishin Grey all over the edges and then I picked out the extreme edges where I thought the light was going to hit uh, with Dawnstone Grey um, and this is the result. Really happy with it, obviously it matches all the other units that I've um, painted so yeah, looking really good and as I said all I've got to do now is the weathering and uh, that's these guys done. <clears throat> so I'm just going to run through the uh, different models. It's that one, just spin him around. So he's got the um, the leg, his shoulder pad, and uh, the backpack. The backpack probably took one of the longest, loads and loads of little edges there, but uh, well worth it. Really helps make that black uh, backpack sort of pop as such. So that's that one. It's him again. He's got uh, the black sort of body, the glove, uh, the shoulder pad. Did all the edges of the shoulder pad and uh, the leg, a little glove, all those fingers and stuff, all done, that's that one. Then the next guy, so I did his boot, his hand, again his uh, chaos head and his shoulder pad, so that's him. And then the last one, so that's that guy, and again he's got that black um, body which Took some time to edge highlight, especially he's got the Chaos backpack, he's got that uh, gun holder and the boot as well, so quite a lot of black on this one. Um, obviously I did do the guns, uh, not too much to see on there, so I'll just very, very briefly show you. That's the Chaos one, uh, that one with the Empress Children glove, just there. Um, and then just show you one of these, that's the Space Wolves gun, all uh, edged in. So, 
great progress on the actual wolves, bit of disaster on the base. Um, hopefully it won't be too much of a setback. I don't sort of mind as long as it doesn't do it again, which is why I'm really, really giving these bases a good scrub. Uh, so, uh, next I'm going to weather these up. Um, hopefully the bases will be done um, probably tomorrow um, and I'll be able to uh, spray them up, prime them and get them painted as well and get this unit finished up. Right, that's it from me. Thanks for watching as always and I'll see you in the next video.